All right, so exams are happening. You need five tips on what you can do on the day of your exam. Tip number one is take care of your sleep. Sometimes your exam might be in the morning, sometimes it might be in the afternoon. Now, based on that time slot, you have to make sure that you get the optimal amount of sleep that your body requires. If you don't get enough sleep, try to fit in a power nap as well. A 20-30 minute power nap can really help boost up that energy in you and also get you to focus in on, on what you have to do, which is basically go for the exam. Tip number two is make sure that you carry a banana or some chocolate as well, something that's going to give you this energy spike. Now, the tip over here actually isn't necessarily to just hold that banana or chocolate, but it's also the timing with which you eat it. Make sure that right before you're going into that exam center is where you have that banana. The timing of the consumption actually matters over here. Personally, I'd prefer a banana because bananas have potassium and potassium also helps in boosting your energy levels. Great for even working out too. So if, you're, if you want to get in a morning workout before an afternoon exam, have a couple of bananas, you're good to go with that. Uh, the third tip over here is on the way to the exam. Either you binge watch everything on Alt Academy, go over the flashcards, go over the revision guides once more, or you take a power nap, basically. That's what I mean. You want to make sure that even on the way there, you're kind of getting into the zone of what's going to be coming for the exam, kind of hyping yourself up, preparing yourself for that. That's why watching everything on the go on Alt Academy might just be helpful for you. The fourth tip is to arrive early to your exam center. Just because your exam is going to start at 10 a.m. doesn't mean you reach there at 9.45. Try to get there by 9.15, 9.20, that's going to help you get settled and get acquainted with everyone over there. You're going to be able to navigate where your exam is going to be happening specifically in the center. And then also just meeting your friends, catching up, saying hi, hello, and sharing a couple of laughs before you go. And that's also going to be very, hopefully it'll be very positive. And it'll also get you in the right headspace too. Now the fifth tip basically coincides with the fourth tip. Once you arrive early and you meet your buddies, Avoid any conversation of preparing for the exam. Avoid talking about how they might be freaking out or how you might be freaking out. Remember yourselves about positive self-talk and encourage that for others as well. It's just an exam. It's a hurdle. It's an obstacle. It's part of that journey as well of growing up. And it's also part of your student journey, right? Once you do the exam, in a couple of hours, you'll be done and it'll be, oh, it'll be behind you. You just have to make sure that you're in the right headspace, you're in the zone, and you feel good also. You've put in a lot of effort throughout the year. And this is the time to make sure that you translate all that effort into the exam. Remember these five tips and I wish you best of luck from all of us at Alt Academy and I'll see you in the next one.